Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a closer look at this Warp 1260 card. It's uh, it's coming out. CS Labs are sending these cards out. I was one of the first uh, getting the uh, uh, review examples of it. I have had it running for uh, just over two months now at 105 megahertz, and it runs rock solid. No trouble with it. We had one thing that had to be fixed as a beta tester and that's fixed on the new cards. Uh, Caesar has also been written properly uh, about it. So it is fixed. Other than that, no issues. It runs amazing. So uh, stay tuned guys. And I, and I, and on, and on Facebook, they, other guys are getting some more cards. We're getting, they're sharing pictures. Beautiful stuff. Great. So, yeah, this card that I have, it has been running at 105 megahertz. I'm sorry about that. That lightsaber stripe over here. That's because, I mean, the sun is out. It's summer. It's beautiful. So, yeah, I can't do nothing about it, man. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, my warp card, uh, 1260 uh, firmware revision 1.008. 68060 revision 6 and it runs at 105 megahertz now uh, a lot of you guys wrote it's just why man why so fast i mean i would be perfectly happy with the 50 megahertz so we are going to uh, speed this one down from 105 to 50 megahertz and set it to 50 there we go now my amiga runs with the 060 at 50 megahertz okay as you can see, we have uh, the CPU temperature is 36 degrees and it's so hot in my room. Um, the cooling fan, it's on 100%. I want to run at 100%. You can actually just put it on silent and it will run at 45 degrees. It will start, but I always let it run at 100 megahertz because I also like the air circulation in my Amiga. Okay, so we're running at 50 megahertz. That's all right. Now, I'm going to show you why I think it's nice to have more power. Because I have found out about these AGA demos <laughs> lately. So, let's just check one of them. And we're going to take it at 50 megahertz. And we're going to take it at 105 megahertz. Right now, the only thing you have to do is... Um, Take time on this. Three, two, one, go. All right, at 50 megahertz, let's see how it loads. Uh, I think over here it is loaded already, and from here it has to be white. So let's take time. This is a 68060. Revision 6 at 50 megahertz. We're loading this AJ demo. We come in peace. Uh, everything is run by the warp 1260 hdmi out uh, digital video out so it should be perfect picture you know guys the sound is coming out of this little speaker oh here is the stripe okay we're still waiting <laughs> so this video is actually because of that quest i'm getting that question so often guys but uh, now you can see how much you will enjoy uh, 105 megahertz instead of 50 megahertz uh, CPU. Yeah, we're still waiting. We're still waiting. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, and in the meantime, I've been asked about the Warp 4060. Uh, oh man, Caesar is designing the card. He is just he. That team at CS Lab, they're just pros, man. Nothing more to say. Really makes uh, Amiga enjoyment thousand times better because we have a company like CS Lab. I love those guys. So yeah, Caesar, he is um, making the layout, he's designing the card and uh, sharing some pictures. It looks amazing for the Mega 4000. Um, and Andre is gonna program everything, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. Stop your timer. Um, that's how long time it took to load this program, I uh, load this demo. And also, you can also see the frame rate isn't that 
flew over here it's, it's better but uh, let, let's just enjoy this demo for one minute okay i'm just gonna give it some more volume and we're gonna enjoy it for a minute and then we're gonna test at 105 megahertz of the demo. Oh, it's gonna crash! <laughs> this is at 50 megahertz. Alright. That how, that's how it runs. Let's just... Um, Move that. Um, okay, we are going to give this car some more power. <laughs> As you can see here, it's running at 50 megahertz. We are going to tune it up to 105. There we go. Now you have to understand. Um, it is possible with the 060 revision six, the proper the, the revision six, they can they can run at the speed. You can actually speed it up a bit more than 105. And now this software is just close to 105. Um, it is possible to get a bit faster than that, but the thing is, you're not guaranteed. You can be unlucky and buy. Uh, a revision 6 CPU that, that stops with you know 95 megahertz if you give it to 105 it will just freeze and not be that good so I was I was just lucky with this one maybe it can run faster maybe a firmware up update will uh, take it up to 110 or 120 megahertz don't know but yeah it is a possibility all right we're running at 105 now and still after that demo the CPU as is at uh, 36 degrees so perfect man the arm processor 47 degrees i mean this cpu card has also as you can see perfect graphic card installed i, I uh, just go back and look at my review of this card i am so happy pro build high quality everything is just perfect and this compact flash card was also given to me by cs lab so uh yeah, I'm so thankful for that. Um, yeah, we're running at, at, at 105 megahertz now, and we're going to start the demo and uh, compare your time with this one. Everything, uh, nothing is edited, nothing, man, it's pure, honest. So now you can see, start your clock now, and um, let's see how, um, yeah, the difference between 50 megahertz loading and 100 megahertz loading. The 50 megahertz, first time I tried this, I was like, oh, did it crash? But uh, let's see how it goes with the uh, 105 megahertz. Um, yeah, I don't have a timer. It could be fun to test it here, but you at home, you can do that. <laughs> and you can get that feeling, do I need that more power? Now, if you just play classic WHD load games, you don't. But if you want to enjoy, enjoy demos like I do, or something productivity, I don't know, then with this video, you can feel, feel the difference. I mean, already it's over there and wow, man. I, I Yeah, it's loaded. <laughs> and look at the smoothness. That's the most important part. This building, it, I mean, you can just, I would love to have a frame rate uh, counter here that could look at this smoothness man or oh, women <laughs> wow looks it, it runs so smooth so the loading speed is the first part of course who wants to sit and wait we're all people right we want everything to load fast that's the first part but the second part is the enjoyment look at this it feels like i don't know it's fluid man 
don't know how the camera picks it up. Let's see. Yeah, it looks okay on the camera also, but the real deal. Oh my god, I love having uh, th this this part. Look at this. Can you see the difference? Wow. <laughs> I wish I had two warp cards. I could make two setups, one with 50 megahertz, one with 105, and show it live. It could be great, man. But I have other Amiga systems, so I can't, if this is interesting, I can compare them, of course, make other videos. I have all the Amiga models. But yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. So there you go, guys. Next time I get a question like this, I will just link to this video because writing something is one thing seeing it on, on the back of the box 105 megahertz is that that's one thing but but enjoying it like this on a video and see it with your own eyes how fluid it runs how fast it loads then you can make up your mind do you need one of these or not i mean it's just fully recommended by me Everything, build quality, the software, everything is just perfect with this card. So thankful we have a company like CS Lab. No, I'm not getting money for this video, nothing like that. I'm just happy. I want to share my happiness with you guys. I'm just honest. They're making great products there, man. I'm mean, gonna look at this 105 megahertz, 16060. There we go. Okay, guys, so, um, oh, looks great. Um, I've tried this with my Mega 1200 um, ACA 1240, 1260, uh, I don't remember. It was an old 30 CPU, it, it, it just dropped it, man. It didn't run that well. <laughs> Also, I've been asked about if I know anything about 040 processor. Caesar just said that um, for the Mega 4000, the Warp 4060, it will maybe run with the 040 processor also. But I'm telling you, the 040, yes, it's easier to get, but that CPU, of course, it doesn't run as smooth as this. It doesn't have as many instructions and stuff like that. But just, it runs so hot, man. I have all 40 systems. The compatibility issues is the same on the all 40 and all 60. So if I wanna play games, I don't wanna use the all 40. Um, then I just use my all 30. But if if I want power enjoyment, uh, when I'm working in my game room, I love to watch these beautiful ATA demos. This is just the way to go. I absolutely love it. But. The back side of the coin is actually, the flip side is actually the 060 Revision 6. It's not easy to get. At the end of the video, I will make a link and, and show you my experience with trying to getting one of, one of these. So uh, you can see that uh, it's not easy to get today. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video cleared something up for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Check out some of, of, of my videos. Have a great day out there, guys. Bye.